Order is recognized for two minutes. Madam Speaker, I'm honored to rise today to speak on H.R. 7, the Paycheck Fairness Act. I am proud to be a part of a Congress that's finally taken action to close the gender pay gap. After so many years of inaction on this issue, when our Republican colleagues were in the majority, I think it is fair to say that it is about time. It's hard to imagine that in this day and age, women could be paid less than a man for doing the same job. But it happens, and it happens often. The statistics show that pay disparity isn't a thing of the past. It's happening today. It isn't just holding women back, it's amplifying racial inequalities across the country. We often hear the statistics that say women make 80 cents to every dollar that is paid to a man. But those figures are often worse for women of color. Black women are only making 61 cents on the dollar. For Latino women, that is 53 cents. And for Native American women, 58 cents. Clearly, the pay gap is compounded by racial gap. And it should be obvious to all of us that this problem extends beyond the workplace. You see the impact everywhere you look around in our society. Women of color are less likely to have a health care coverage. They are more likely to experience hunger and less likely to own a home or be fully prepared for retirement. Because at the end of the day, those pennies on the dollar add up. And that loss of income is putting women of color at serious disadvantage. The Paycheck Fairness Act will take aggressive action to remedy these inequalities and tear down the economic barriers that women of color face. It will do that in part by ensuring the Equal Employment Commission has the information it needs to detect pay discrimination and to identify those additional cross-section biases. And I am proud to introduce an amendment with my colleague, Representative Byer from Virginia, to ensure that we are able to report that. I yield the gentlelady an additional 30 seconds. The gentlewoman is, has additional, an additional 30 seconds. And I am proud to introduce an amendment with my colleague, Representative Byer from Virginia, that will ensure that the major employers are required to report that information to that commission. That will go a long way in finally ending the systematic barriers that women and women of color face in this country. Thank you so much to Chair Scott and Chair DeLauro. I'm really excited to be part of this change-making um, uh, Congress. The gentlewoman yields. I yield back. The gentlewoman from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I reserve. The gentlewoman reserves. The, gentle the gentleman from 